It's your name in folklore. Who's it going to be? Only two teams left in the battle for the FA Cup. There can be just one winner. It's Arsenal. They take on Crystal Palace live. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Arsenal up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of, playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Ezzy. Are you? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granite Jacker plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schlup starts alongside Everetti Eze in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, it's one pass after another. He's given it away. You know, it's always a tantalising prospect watching Martin Odegaard close up. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on play. Well, they could finish here, Stuart. The save was a good one. Can they forge ahead? Oh, there it is! Arsenal hit the front in the final. And just listen to their supporters. Exactly what they were hoping for. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Jeffrey Schlup and Edouard with it chance to cross very quick thinking there Farsi space and time for Arsenal Partey. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Gabriel Jesus! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Still here, and the ball is moving again. Thomas Partey. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Schlup. And Edouard with it. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Ayou. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Schlup. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper.
Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? Really digging it, Gabriel Jesus! And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Sheikh Dukure. Tyrek Mitchell. Zaha. And Palace will get the throw in. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Schlup. And a chance here. Wilfred Zaha. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Off and running again as we reflect upon an eye-catching first-half display from Arsenal. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Odson Edouard. And Zaha has it. Good strength to keep the ball. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Partey. Bukayo Saka. And a creative look about this. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And it's a quality pass. Can he find the angle? A good and fair challenge. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Joel Ward and into the last 30 minutes now are you just the challenge that was required Gabriel Martinelli counter attacking very much an option but it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end just had to look a bit lively given the pressure well as those stats confirm Palace have had the lion's share of the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Interception to snuff out the danger. Jesus. Martinelli. Couldn't keep it. And a chance for him on the flank. 
Well, this would help them get back into the game. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, Palace are still trailing here, but this game, very much a contest. No two ways about that. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Marcinelli. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Ayu. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Oh, they have it again. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Gabriel Jesus. And Zaha has it. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Partey. On to Jesus. Now, well, just the tackle that was needed. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But